Today we're giving you guys our honest review of one of the world's most expensive luxury tents. And with that, let's head deep into the forest of Indonesia. Capella is nestled in the heart of a lush, green forest, and the unique tinted camps sit in harmony with the surrounding nature. Inspired by the early European settlers from the 1800s, Capella Yubud is a tribute to the spirit of adventure. We just left the Ritz Carlton Mandapa, so this is gonna be a really big change because we're literally gonna be staying in, you guessed it, a luxury tent on vacation. We really didn't know what to expect. Is the tent gonna have AC? Are there gonna be a lot of bugs? Is there gonna be a mini bar? Anyway, according to critics, this is rated one of the top 10 hotels in the world. And with that being said, we're gonna give you our honest, unbiased review. So let's go. If you're into unique and luxury travel, make sure to hit that like and follow button below. So driving into the resort, you're greeted by security, which I honestly can appreciate just because obviously if you're gonna be on vacation, you wanna feel safe and comfortable. And going into this, we knew that this was gonna be a smaller, more boutique-y kind of resort. So we weren't expecting a grand lobby or an entrance. So once your car gets through security, you pass down a kind of a long winding kind of road. There's a rice field and your boutique is bordering other local houses and properties. So you can kind of see people just living their normal life on the island. So once you arrive in the lobby tent, um, they complete a local ceremony which involves incense, offering, and rice. Uh, they place rice on the center of your forehead. Honestly, it's so humid. Not so humid, but it's humid enough. Once you get to the actual lobby, you do kind of feel like you're on a kind of a lush campsite. So once you're finished checking in, they give you a welcome drink, it's, uh, punchy, a walking stick, and a bag of amenities. And then it's time to head to your tent. The grounds are really pretty, it's lush, and it really feels like you're in a luxury campsite. We didn't realize it, but our tent was basically at the furthest of the resort. It was definitely a hike. It was a journey just getting to the tent, which we knew like obviously coming back for dinner, um, little miscellaneous. We knew it was gonna be a hike every single time. Luckily, we're in decent shape. However, if you're not in, you know, fair to decent shape, I would recommend asking them to stay as close to the main grounds as possible. So after our little hike, we finally made it to our river temple tent. Once you pass over the little bridge, you have arrived at your luxury tent. Now let's go inside. It was not at all what I would expect. The interior was colorful, um, it was quirky, but you could also tell that the space was also curated. They said when we were checking in that each tent is designed differently. So there was the princess tent, there was the carpenter's tent, and we were staying at the temple tent. Just getting to the tent was a mission, but now that we're here, it really is starting to kick in that we're staying in a tent. It is very well equipped. Um, you have your indoor outdoor shower, your large king size bed, seating area. There is a mini bar. It's kind of cool. The mini bar is actually a cooler, like a, they kind of reconfigured a cooler. And then you have your coffee station, little snacks, welcome drink. So yeah, take a look around. It's not really my aesthetic, but I can appreciate it. I don't know, it smells like maybe apple juice or something. It smells strong. No. Mm. It's some type of alcohol. <laughs> and I, it's burning. It's definitely not like a wine. I don't know what it is. It looks like it's some type of like a... It's pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna take another drink so it can't be that bad. <laughs> Now that we got all settled in, it's time to explore the property. There are no like actual buildings. Everything is a tent. And when they were showing us the property, they let us know that when building the tents, they didn't remove any trees. Every day after you're finished exploring and you know going on your adventures, they recommend that you go to the officer's tent, which is kind of like a shared living room. This is a place where you can come during the afternoon and have tea. And then in the evening, they offer a kind of craft cocktail, happy hour, with little snacks and hors d'oeuvres. The drinks and the light bites were really good, and the service and staff has been incredible. Since this is more of a boutique hotel, they do their best to remember your name, to you know kind of start conversation, to remember what you like, to remember what you drank the day before, or a certain area that you sat in last time, maybe they'll recommend that you sit there again. 
and after having a few cocktails in the captain's tent, it's time to go to dinner at Mod's Lounge. Whenever we travel to any type of resort and they offer a tasty menu at their signature restaurant, I always go for it. I do like the entire culinary experience. You know, you get a variety of different foods, flavors, textures, and it really shows you what that chef and that restaurant is capable of. It was a unique dining experience. It was a communal table. Um, for a tasting menu, it's not something I normally would feel comfortable doing. However, the couple next to us and the couple on the other side of us, they were a lot of fun. Um, the food was really good. We did the 10 course tasting menu. I would highly recommend. I obviously did the wine pairing as well, but that's nobody's business. No, overall dinner was, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was interactive. You got a little fortune cookie at the end. But then we knew we had to go back on our trek down to the river tent, which took us a while. We did get lost a few times. So we just got lost on the way to our tent. One of 14 tents, but it's very steep. It's very dark, obviously. Because we went through it. That's the way? I was about to go the wrong way again. And you just have to go to one. We're going to Wu's River Temple. Where the local community prays. It's right below our tent. And that's where we're headed now, so hopefully we make it. Surprisingly, I wasn't expecting it, but there was turndown service. They also had a bucket of very cold water that you could rinse your feet off in, um, some desserts, and tea to help you fall asleep. I needed more than the tea because it was raining. It rained actually both nights that we were here. And you're in a tent, so you can hear every single raindrop throughout the entire night. It was a cool experience, but it's loud when you're hearing it like all night long with thunderstorms. Like I mentioned before, the decor and the design of the entire hotel is a little quirky. One thing I noticed is that there's kind of brass monkeys spread throughout the entire resort. You'll look and there'll be a monkey on the roof. There'll be a monkey as the faucet for the pool. Speaking of the pool, the pool was really cool too. Industrial, it definitely gave like early pool vibes. Breakfast is a la carte. They do have a little buffet section which has a variety of different cuisines. Service for breakfast yet again was exceptional. They remembered what you had the day before. They remember the type of coffee you had. Overall, I really can't say anything bad about the service of the luxury tents. After breakfast, we took the hike, obviously again, back down to our, our tent. And then we got ready for the day. We tried the world's most expensive coffee at a local plantation, which I would highly recommend. You can see it in one of our other videos. We went to the monkey sanctuary and then it was back to the tent. We're leaving the Wasp River Temple. Obviously, you can see it started raining. Um, our room is like directly above, but obviously we have to go up a ton of flight of stairs. But it's a really beautiful temple. It's so nice that it's secluded, yet still accessible by the by the community here's our room here uh, not a room i guess here's our tent it's time here's our final review of capella ubud for the entrance and lobby i'm gonna give it a seven i'm giving it a seven because it was a tent an open air tent but still a tent i know you guys are thinking well you did stay at a luxury tent resort but i have to be fair it's still a tent the service and staff were top notch. I'm gonna give them a nine. But the guy who had to lug that massive suitcase all the way to the bottom, I'm giving you a 10. The overall food was very, very good. I'm gonna give it an eight. And for the tasting menu, overall, we had a great time. The food was, was decent for a tasting menu. It was 10 courses. It did take about two hours. The company was great. The ambiance was nice. I'm giving it an eight. The overall room, it was a tent. It was a hike but the view was nice, it had a lot of privacy. I'm giving it a seven and a half. And the overall resort, it was cool. It was a kind of a unique, different experience. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed what you saw and wanna see more, make sure to like and subscribe for updates.